this is what the just released 4th gen APUs from AMD looks like and if you're planning on buying a new gaming laptop in the near future without going into specific details, you want to make sure your laptop got a 4th gen Ryzen processor, it is that good. Now though AMD just released, you know, the 4th gen Reno R APUs, details on the next generation Ryzen 5000 APUs have already started leaking out and in today's video we're gonna go over everything we know about these new APUs such as specifications and release date coming to both laptop and desktop. Now according to this leak we believe these low voltage super tiny processors could get ray tracing which is just insane. Imagine being able to play games on the go without having to worry you know too much about battery life. Imagine how cool that would be. Anyway here is everything we know about these APUs so far. Stay tuned. Hey what is up guys my name is Robin welcome to Arbin Hardware. I am your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. So apparently leaked documents were posted over at an Antex forum by a member and this was quickly picked up by Rogue Game which is a well known Twitter leaker in the community at this point. And based on this document guys it looks like AMD has already started to work on their next generation APU lineup. But it should be said guys this is expected since Sam 3 core development has finished and if you don't remember we will uh, in fact get the first processors based on Sam 3 later this year more specifically in September and in case you're interested I got a video covering everything you need to know about 40 and Ryzen and Sam 3 for desktop and you find that video down below. Now the next bit I'm about to talk about we're gonna need a warning because this can be a little bit confusing but I'm gonna try my best to explain this in the easiest way to understand. The Sam 3 architecture is initially uh, developed for desktop and server platforms and the mobility market uh, unfortunately gonna have to wait until 2021 for a release since 4th year Ryzen just launched this month but like the 4th year mobile family AMD will once again try to disrupt the notebook segment with more performance and higher efficiency unlike anything before and spoiler alert guys according to this leaked document these APUs could get ray tracing and massive graphics performance and again according to the document the next generation Ryzen 5000 APUs will be known as the Sun and will be deployed in the 4th gen lineup. And here's the confusing part, AMD kinda refers to a 4th gen Ryzen or mobile as the 3rd gen simply because it is based on the Sun 2 architecture while the rest of the 4th gen Ryzen for desktop will be referred to as the 4th gen since they will be based on the Sun 3 architecture. <laughs> it is very confusing guys. I know, I know. The same would be the case with uh, Ryzen 5000 CPUs, which <laughs> will be referred to as a fourth gen, since it will make use of the Sam 3 core architecture, and it's super confusing. But that's uh, apparently how AMD like to run things. I like the 4th gen Ryzen for mobile. The CSAN lineup would get an H lineup and a U lineup, where the first one being for high performance, you know, the H lineup, and the U lineup being for the ultra low voltage. But let's talk about performance, because this is where things get interesting, guys. And we're looking at massive improvements for the existing Ryzen 4000 CPUs. And this is because of many reasons. For example, we Got a brand new architecture known as Sam 3, and this will bring major IPC improvements or instructions per clock cycle. But it doesn't stop here, AMD has also done some changes on the design level that would improve the core to core latency and chip performance. Furthermore, the Sam 3 architecture would be utilizing an advanced 7 nanometer process node as N7, and this is also bringing major improvements. And if you don't believe me, just have a look at the 4th gen Ryzen, which got a amazing performance per watt and guys these are 35 to 45 watt design CPUs or APUs to be exact. And I actually tested Asus latest Sephiroth G14 equipped with the brand new Ryzen 4800HS and in case you're interested how this laptop handled games you can find that video down below. Now though these CPUs got massive massive CPU performance the only disappointment with 4th gen Ryzen APUs is the fact that it still uses AMD's semi obsolete Vega graphics. Now please don't get me wrong it is not a bad uh, GPU in any way 
day, I was actually able to run many eSport like games in full HD, but mind you guys, at very low settings, but still, I managed to reach well above 60 FPS for the most part, which is very impressive for being a somewhat pretty outdated Vega GPU. But this will change completely with the Fithian APUs, as AMD is switching to the Navi based GPU architecture. A YouTube channel called Morse Law is Dead that actually made a very comprehensive video going over these new APUs in great detail explaining why AMD actually could skip the first year Navi for these APUs and jump straight to RDNA 2. And I linked that video up down below in case you're interested. But as I just said, it seems like AMD is simply just skipping first year Navi and going straight to RDNA 2. And according to this document, AMD could end up using the Navi 23 GPU. What this means is that this GPU could get ray tracing, which would be pretty insane if you think about it. And keep in mind guys, these processors are not just coming to the mobile market and the laptops, these are also coming out on desktop. So this means that we can essentially build a super small, you know, a very tiny <laughs> uh, desktop processor for example, with a graphics unit that is capable of running games with ray tracing for example. And honestly, how cool isn't this? Having this much graphics power on a single ship like this, imagine, you know, being able to play games on the go, or for example, you can have a desktop PC that can fit in your pocket almost. I don't know guys, <laughs> I am very excited as you can hear. Anyway guys, these are expected to enter the market in 2021. Now APUs definitely seems like the future of portable gaming for sure, at least in my opinion. Anyway guys, I would love to hear your honest opinions on this. Please let me know in the comments below. Now watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in that video.